Some 30 years ago, the site of local businesses' untidy garbage bins inspired Veiko Sali to create a new, environmentally friendly system for waste and recycling. He founded Moloch. He joins me now, along with his daughter and CEO of Moloch North America, Malia Hillis. Veiko, talk to me about that moment of inspiration when you realized you needed to do something. That moment was a big moment. It was the moment when we saw that, as a hotel owner and restaurant owner, problems with waste spreading around and smelling and rats coming and so on so we got the basic idea that we can put it partly underground that way perhaps it's not smelling and perhaps it's possible to get more waste to small area so that was the moment where Moloch really was born. So the basic idea is that two-thirds of the Moloch container is underground and one-third is above ground. So you have large capacity in a small space and because the container is vertical, the new waste covers the old waste and pushes the old waste down. The other thing is that underground temperature keeps the waste cool, so it's not going to smell the way it does if it's all above ground. So after some years thinking, there must be something like this in the world. But there was nothing like that. In 1991, we decided to create the company. And the first workers of that company is, are sitting now here. So, Maria, uh, in the 25 years since you were first enlisted into this company, how have you seen it and how have you driven it to change and evolve? Oh my goodness. When we first started, of course, everything was in Finland. We always call it our laboratory for the market. Our basic model is that there's uh, distributors that are independent companies in different countries. But once the volume grows, then we have to look at different types of options. One way would be having a terminal in a country where we would ship parts and then they would be assembled there. Or for example, Moloch North America in Canada, we started being importers and then being assemblers and then licensed manufacturers. We don't think that Moloch needs to have all the business to itself. We want to look at different countries and, and how Moloch fits their culture and their economy. So maybe we can set up something with the local government and local businesses so that they can set not just the business, but the whole system, everything within that country. Which makes sense from a business sustainability point of view, as well as an environmental sustainability point of view. How important is that aspect of your work to Moloch? How important is it to be increasing the rate of recycling, for example? Recycling is a very interesting word. The first reason that we need recycling is that our packing industry has grown to make huge packings. hundred years ago, there, it was almost no packings, and that means no waste. We are so crazy that we buy our waste from the shops. Environment, tidiness and clean healthiness are the most important thing. Then what we do in our manufacturing, the Moloch product is made out of uh, plastics, polyethylene, that can be 100% recycled. Parts of the plastic we actually recycle ourselves and put back into the product. We use aluminum, stainless steel, uh, things that can all be 100% recycled and they do not rot or rust. So the containers themselves actually last a very, very long time. Recycled products don't necessarily have the very long life cycle. Whereas our product, some of the very original containers that were installed 25 years ago, they're still in use. Can we expect to see any more great innovations from this industry and from Moloch? So new innovations, of course there are form, uh, size, how to use it, how to cooperate with people in different countries. That puts our brains working hard. Looking into the future about how the industry is going to develop when people become more educated about environment, when governments are focusing on greenhouse gases, global warming, it becomes easier to communicate with all these different stakeholders and the, the cooperation between businesses and people and governments, it becomes closer so that then whatever is being developed, it's being developed with the whole world in mind and, and everybody's needs instead of just the business profits. Eko, Maria, thank you both so much. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks for watching. You can find out more about Moloch at theneweconomy.com and please subscribe for more stories from the waste management industry as well as all the other innovations disrupting our new economy.